Hey Royal Family, welcome to my General Hospital Daytime Drama Channel. I am your hostess, the Daytime Drama Queen. I have your General Hospital Recap for Tuesday, August 15th. Now, let's get into it. We see Ava Jerome in Sonny Corinthal's office. She tells Sonny she is worried that Betty Rutherford is taking care of Avery. Sonny assures her that he has a plan to trap Betty. I said before, Avery's never going to be alone with Betty. I know you're nervous, and I get that, but you got to trust that I'm handling this. Nothing can happen to her. So Nothing's going to happen. I, I said that already. Okay. So you want to get the body back? We have to figure out who we're dealing with. He tells Ava that he has planted some fake information on a hard drive and that Betty will access it and lead them to Mason's boss. He tells Ava that Dex is keeping a close eye on her. At Sonny's place, we see Betty Rutherford and Avery Corinthos returning. A guard is standing at the door. He lets Betty and Avery in. Dex Heller is behind them. Inside the apartment, Betty snoops around and locates Sonny's computer. She accesses the computer and downloads the fake Pike Man data that... Next, at the home of T.J. Ashford and Molly Lansing Davis, they interview several surrogate candidates and settle on two. Let's go with Andrea. I have a really good feeling about her and know that we have a backup in Chelsea. T.J., this is really happening. It could be. It's an important first step. Okay, Curtis, so much of your strength is gone. At the Metro Court, we see Alexis Davis, Gregory Chase, and Brooklyn Quartermain. Alexis is there to have lunch with Esme. She tells Esme that she is doing a wonderful job, and if she wants to change people's perception of her, she needs to keep it up. Esme tells Alexis, that she and Spencer are work, working out well while Laura and Kevin are away. They were such a good buffer between me and Spencer, but, you know, things are actually turning out better than I expected with them. That's good. Yeah, I mean, we're really finding our rhythm together. He loves Ace, and he sings to him, and he never complains about changing a diaper. And he always finds a way to make Ace laugh, which makes me laugh, and... Then, just keep doing a good job, and it'll be a win for everyone. Over it with Gregory Chase. He and Brooklyn are chatting until Chase arrives. Chase joins them, and Gregory asks them about their future together. Brooklyn leaves. Gregory asked Chase if he ever talked about marriage. Chase says no. Brooklyn comes back and Gregory's hands begin to tremble. Brooklyn and Chase leave. Alexis joins Gregory. She has seen him trembling. He tells her that the trembles are getting worse and he thinks he's running out of time. Oh, so you saw that. Struggling with the check. I did. Fortunately for me, they were so wrapped up in each other, they didn't seem to notice. 
I'm sorry, Gregory. It's getting worse, Alexis. I think I'm running out of time. Finally, Portia Robinson goes to the rehab center to see Curtis Ashford. She tells Curtis that he doesn't have to go at it alone. She and Trina are there to help him. Curtis, what's too much? You and me. I'm trying to adapt to a life in a wheelchair. Okay? Trina and I are starting to figure things out and I can't deal with a relationship on top of all of that. I understand where you're coming from, Curtis. I really do. But you don't have to learn to live life in a wheelchair all by yourself. You have people. You have people to lean on. I'm here. I'm right here for you. And so is Trini. Curtis tells her this is too much too fast. Curtis' therapist tells Portia that if she continues to push herself onto Curtis and insert herself into the recovery, it may not go well. You inserting yourself into his recovery could do more harm than good. You're going to have to be very patient with Curtis as he figures this out. You have to work on his timetable, not yours. Sonny, why wouldn't the guards let me into the penthouse? And why is Ava acting so squirrely? It's best you don't know. This just makes me feel like another one of your employees, Sonny. On the next General Hospital. What are we celebrating? I hate to bother you, but we have a problem. I'd like to take the Savoy off your hands. Why does my father have you following the doctor? Is there a problem here? She's in danger. It's time we do something drastic. I need to keep him away from Sasha. Well, that's it for today's recap. Please send me your thoughts, your comments, and your theories, and we will discuss later. Until then, this has been the Daytime Drama Queen saying ta-ta.